Hello and welcome to StructureX Private Limited. Today we are going to uh, see our training content and the demonstration session. Demonstration session for the postgraduate diploma program in RCC Structure and Beam Technology. This is total eight months online program and it's live with 50 plus project and assignment. And we have career assistance with uh, this program. So let's see wh what's about this program. What is the content of the training and how it look like. So uh, today we have uh, Mr. Karim. So he is a structure engineer in our company and uh, myself, Aman Kumar. So both of us will uh, uh, teach you or uh, tell you that what is the content of this training. Okay. So first of all, we will see the outline or outlook of the training program. That what is the outlook and the content of the training program. So have a look on that. First of all, uh, I am telling you this uh, PPT or uh, this period, okay, the outlook of the program. Karim, you are seeing my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, my screen is visible with, uh, with, yes. okay. So here we have PG Diploma in RCC Structure and Beam Technology. It's total eight month program with their uh, live content. Okay, 350 plus hour of live training with 30 plus project. Okay, and we have certification for the PG diploma certification in RCC structure and beam technology. Uh, the candidate who is uh, like able to complete the project, okay, inside this training, uh, like he is also able to get the one year on job training experience and project certification. Correct. So next we will see the current outlook of the training program. Okay, so have a look inside that. So first of all, let's see that uh, this is program outlook. So here you are seeing that we have divided this program in so many steps. Okay, so the first step is basic to medium level. Then we have the advanced level. Then we have the BIM technology. Then we have report and finalization. Okay, so the basic whenever we are taking the structure design analysis, basically we are in a structure field. Okay, and with some of the latest technology like BIM. Okay, so the BIM is the integral part of the training with their structure design analysis and detailing. Okay, so this is the four pillar of the training. So inside the four uh, steps, what we are going to do that we will able to design or analyze like a building system. First of all, we will able to do the building system. Second, we will do the infrastructure project. Okay, inside that we are able, we will also use the national as well as the international code of practice, right? Like here you are saying that we have IS code, AISC, UBC, ACI, FEMA, NVC, okay, and other relevant code. It depends upon the customization also. If the people uh, who are all over the world, the candidate are from all over the world, so they can switch according to their code. But it, the software and tools, software we will use in this training that is the ETAP, SAP, and SAP. Okay, for the structure analysis and design. Right, and type of project we will do this is the G plus 25, up to G plus 25 in the basic to medium. And inside that we have residential, commercial, institutional, water tank, trust, dome, retaining wall. And in advanced part, just completing the basic level, we will enter into the advanced part. There we will able to design high rise and tall structure. So basically this part is focused on the high rise plus research and development. Okay, because when you are uh, crossing your limit and you are going for the high rise and tall structure, we need to put some of the extra effort to carry forward that part. Okay, so again we are going to do G plus 50 Diagrid type of structure, tube and bundle, tube, outrigger, damper, wind simulation. So these are some of the advanced parts that we will deal here. Also, we have some uh, one software that is Drupal Arvin, okay, that will use for the wind simulation. So these are the secondary part or advanced part of the structure analysis and design. The third part is the beam technology. Implementation of the beam is also important nowadays. You will see the most of the MNC companies hiring based on the BIM technology profile. So the what is this BIM technology? We will also see in our uh, third module. Uh, this we have the first, second, 
third okay so in third module we will able to do the uh, uh, like things with the 3d 4d and 5d we will understand that what is 3d 4d and 5d inside that we will use, we will able to perform beam modeling that is architecture plus structure solar and heat analysis estimation and costing and we will also create drawing sheet okay this is the finalization it means after getting the all the report and uh, uh, the content of the project okay we will finalize our project with their engineering skill set drawing and report okay proof checking and the presentation got it so let's see the real behavior of the train okay it means the inside out so here you are seeing what kind of analysis we are going to perform so whenever we are doing the uh, structure design and analysis so the first procedure is to analyze the structure this is very important point like most of the people get confused that first what we need to do you don't need to take consideration of the design in their first phase you need to do the analysis but you have to take the reference from the design method also like which type of design you are dealing basically here uh, if you see that we have uh, in the design part and analysis part we have the things that is called the just wait uh, here we have okay so inside this one you will see that in the analysis part basically in the analysis we are going to perform lots of analysis it it will cover from basic to most advanced level okay like first we have the linear static analysis we have uh, uh, first we have the linear static analysis right first we start with the concept and theory then we have linear static analysis then uh, we have this gravity load analysis then we have a static earthquake analysis again we have this construction stage analysis non linear static pushover analysis geometrical non linear p delta analysis buckling analysis material non linearity column shortening effect uh, uh, linear dynamic analysis rsm response spectrum method time history method wind analysis inside that we will able to do the wind tunnel test also the gust factor wind coefficient and wind tunnel test so these are the type of analysis that we are going to perform with the help of our concept theory and software next we have the design so design should be taken on some of the method like we have the limit state method we have energy based design displacement based design performance based design this pvd we will later talk about in detail what is this pvd and how it's governing to our structure and how it's used in the earthquake analysis of the structure the code we are using the is 456 2000 this is the code uh, that recommended code uh, for the uh, like uh, for the foreign uh, type of code like british standard aci asc right these are the code that we are going to use next we will see that uh, what is the check that we have to apply on the structure so see as you go go to the doctor for any kind of disease they will prescribe you some of the test and based on that test they will they will give you the medicine or the treatment so here we have deflection check in the seismic deflection check in the wind deflect scaling based shear story 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 stiffness soft story weak story heavy story elastic deflection creep deflection axial shortening of the column p delta check okay now what type of project we will cover this is also very important like uh, how many type of project we will cover and what will be the project content okay because based on this project your career are going to decide okay so we will start from the building system like here you are saying we have g plus 6 residential uh, g plus 5 hospital structure commercial we have g plus 10 residential g plus 15 commercial structure g plus 19 commercial tower structure g plus 23 tower structure g plus 40 tower structure g plus 50 tower structure with tube system g plus 20 die grid structure we have the twin tower system we have g plus a case study and the out figure system so almost 10 to 15 type of building system project so inside that you will able to design analyze and detail full structure okay and in the infrastructure project we are going to do some of uh, like important things that water tank design retaining wall uh, overheaded water tank dome structure truss structure staircase and if needed we will also include some of the other project also okay so now let's see that uh, 
how this training are governing this uh, uh, like uh, uh, this step how we will follow up this step now after this uh, super structured design and analysis we will go for the sub structured design it means the foundation and slab design so inside the foundation and slab design you will see that we will able to do the fe analysis load we will apply the load combination automatic automatic meshing stf area check the deflection check the punching stability check efficiency in the seismic the type of foundation we will design that is a pad foundation stiff foundation rough foundation stiff foundation caisson foundation drilled shaft foundation and pile foundation the slab what kind of slab we will design that is the vertical slab grip slab flat slab and the solid slab next we will see the content with the beam technology so beam technology is like uh, uh, nowadays most of the industry are demanding this beam technology and there are lots of job openings based on that so anyone who are uh, interested in the uh, the working on the latest technology or working with the you can say the model based technology then you can go for the beam technology also and inside this training we will also do the beam technology part okay so inside that we will learn the architecture modeling structure modeling some part of the mep modeling also we will do the rebar modeling irregular modeling energy model and the analysis type we will do the solar analysis energy analysis and wind analysis we will talk in depth about this all the analysis in our coming uh, part of the session now we have the beam that is up to 5d okay so we will utilize our beam facility up to 5d and software we will take that is autodesk revit and autodesk navis version that will be student version software now next we will see that how it's collaborated right how it's collaborated with our training criteria okay the beam technology and the structure so here you are seeing the beam structure and the collaboration okay so the beam inside the beam uh, what you will see this is a total model process like from 3d to 4d to 5d so you can also like you, if you are using the fem based software that is the like etab and sap you can also import model to the revit or uh, any beam software and there you can proceed the model for the further process so here you are seeing we have the frame structure modeling we have the analysis we have the checks we have the design we have the optimization we have detailing and the project report similarly with the beam technology we have this uh, regular modeling that is frame modeling and irregular modeling then we will able to create 3d model we will schedule we will cost that structure we will document document the structure and we will automate that structure okay and in the last we will finalize our project report so it now next we will move to the uh, that uh, career planning that what kind of career planning you can opt with this train okay that inside which field you will able to work okay for the placement assistant so the for the placement and uh, this kind of uh, assistant what you will see that if you have qualification as btech or mtech you will able to do the beam coordination beam uh, you will uh, able to grab the job position as a beam engineer a structure engineer or civil design engineer if you are a diploma holder you can get with the beam modeler and structure detailer so if you are an uh, diploma holder again this program are going to benefit you okay and if you if you have completed your diploma and you are in btech okay it will give you one initial kick in your career so after just graduating from the college you will able to find a salary good or handsome salary package in any mnc company next we have the career assistant service so how we execute our training okay inside all the training program so after the successfully completion of the program we will inside that program we will do the live career oriented oriented webinar executive interview preparation one to one career mentoring session profile building assistant and direct company reference it means we will feed you up to the company door okay you have to crack the interview based on our training program okay so these are some of the listed company you can uh, also uh, able to find a job in other company this is the some of the famous company that are hiring based on this profile okay so uh, these are the market trend that what will be an uh, structure engineer earn so based on if you have uh, 3 to 4 year of experience you will get the salary package between 
3 to 6 lakh if you have experience you will get from 8 to 20 lakh and also it depends upon your experience okay so this all about our briefing that outlook of the program next we will see that how this program are executed and what is the project consideration just wait